Ten English phrases for changing your mind from EspressoEnglish.net. Number one, I changed my mind. This is the simplest way to say that in the past you had one opinion or decision, but later you changed it. For example, I was going to buy a car, but then I changed my mind and bought a motorcycle instead. Number two. I've had a change of heart. A change of heart is different from changing your mind. A change of heart refers to changing your feelings, attitudes, or behavior, usually to be more positive. For example, the boss told us we would have to work on the holiday, but then he had a change of heart and gave us the day off. Number three. Hang on a minute. Hang on a second. Use these phrases to tell the other person to wait. They are often used when you are debating a decision, and you need a little more time to think. Number four. On second thought, use this phrase to introduce your final opinion or decision, which you believe is better. Let's go to the mall this afternoon. Okay. On second thought, it's probably going to be really crowded because it's Friday. How about we go to the movies instead? Number five. On reflection. Upon reflection. Use this phrase to say that you have given special thought or consideration to the decision before changing it. For example. I was thinking of becoming an engineer, but upon reflection, I decided that teaching would be a better career choice for me. Number six. After further consideration. This is a more formal phrase used to say that you have given additional consideration to the situation, and changed your opinion or plan. It can be used in business English. We appreciate your taking the time to prepare the proposal, but after further consideration, we've decided not to continue this project. Number seven. He convinced me to. He persuaded me to. Use this phrase when another person influenced your decision. For example. I was planning on traveling to Mexico, but Dan convinced me to go to Costa Rica instead. Number eight. I'm not sure what I was thinking when I. Use this phrase to say that your previous decision or opinion was not logical. For example, I'm sorry, I really don't have the time to help organize the event. I don't know what I was thinking when I said yes. Number nine, I did a one eighty. The expression "do a one eighty" means to completely change your opinions or feelings to the opposite position. For example, I used to make fun of people who don't eat meat, but after learning more about the subject, I did a one eighty, and I'm now a vegetarian myself. Number ten, she tends to be fickle. Describing a person as fickle means that the person is indecisive or changes their mind a lot. It's a person who isn't strong in their decisions. Thanks for watching English tips from Espresso English. If you liked this video, please share it.